Hi, my name is Zane Neal, and I'm going to tell you how to pass Compture Security Plus 701 exam first time, therefore saving your Now, when you get index that we have, it's the same as Zipjan objectives. The main one is Objective 1.1, and in the same order as the exam objectives. This makes it easy to understand and highlight. The Domain 1 introduction is also the same as the CompTIA exam objectives. The chapter and title are the same as the exam objectives. I've taken the exam objective title and made it the chapter title. And you can see it's following the exam objectives. It's, the chapter is also written in the same order is the exam objectives. So if you go to control categories, you look at technical control, you'll see that that's one of the first ones followed by managerial. Then the chapter ends summary. That summarizes what you've just done. And it tells you, once you've gained the knowledge in this chapter, you're ready for the exam objective 1.1. Then after that, there's a summary of the exam objectives. It's like a shortcut. Technical controls, technology-based measures such as firewalls and encryptions. And not only that, we then have the chapter review questions. So this one here, you'll receive an email claiming to be from the IRS informing you you've got a tax refund. The email contains a link to a website where you can claim the refund by providing your personal and financial information. You provide this information, but an hour later, your bank account has been emptied. What type of tax is this likely to be? Now, when you get a multiple choice question, let's start off by ruling out the wrong answers. And then we have got the solution. And the correct answer is B, a phishing attack. This is very similar to winning a competition you've never entered. So it tells you what the phishing attack is. It's where attackers impersonate a trusted entity to deceive recipients into divulging sensitive information. Then it goes through object, exam objectives A to D, telling you why they're wrong. You can actually learn from this solution and it can increase your knowledge. Let us look at, is it easy to understand? Is nation state easy to understand? What does it say? Nation state. Nation-state threat actors are perhaps the more formidable adversaries in the realm of cybersecurity. These are government-sponsored entities that engage in cybersecurity operations to further their national interests, often possessing substantial resources and advanced technical capabilities. Nation-states can launch sophisticated attacks, such as espionage, data threat, and even sabotage. Their motives can be varied widely, from influencing other country, countries' elections to participating in political influence. Then we've got another two. One is client-based, and as it explains, this is where you're going to scan, and what you're doing is you're actually putting piece of software on the client. But you can see there, it's very easy to read and understand. And then on the flip side is agentless scanning, where they scan without any agent on the machine. And this is the preferred method for attackers. They might use things like Nmap, they might use Wireshark, but can you understand the information on the screen. Then how about phishing? It says it's an untargeted attack which deception plays a major part. 
using seemingly genuine emails, messages, or websites. Attackers cast their nets wide, aiming to allure recipients into divulging personal data, passwords, or financial information. And it goes on to explain them fully. Then you need to look at exam preparation materials. Look and feel of the real exam. This book comes with three online mock exams. Each exam is 85 questions. Also, when you take the exam, it's got the right and wrong answers explained. So once again, we can learn from the solution. Here is a question here. A cybersecurity administrator identifies an attack in which the CPU register was overwritten by a malicious address that is similar to shellcoin. What type of attack is this? But once again, let's rule out the wrong answers to leave the right answer. When you've done the mock exam, you will get a score. Results are ready. You can see that this chap here has actually sprinted through it, but you get re-attempts on each exam. At the moment, there are three mock exams. But they've also got um, solutions that are very good. Now, let's have a look at a very long solution. In this solution here, you've got two answers that are correct, B and D. And they go through to tell you why B and D are the correct answers. But then what happens, they go through the other two, or they go through the other two, telling you why they're not the best choice. Now, we've got 500 multiple choice exam questions. They explain the right and wrong answers. 80 students in August used this book with an average score of 793. So this book, because it's written in the same format as the exam objectives, prepares you very well for the exam. The book at the moment, for a limited time on Amazon, is a 27% discount. The book is $32. The Kindle is $22.39. Coming with the book, you get an exam discount of $48. That, that is a bigger discount than the cost of the book. So once you buy the book, you make a profit. Now, here's the book we're talking about. It's the Ian Neal Conscious Security Plus Certification Guide, third edition. It's on sale at Amazon. It's got 91% at five star. It's also 4.8, and it's got 243. Recently on Reddit, they did the Mozilla fact, or what is it called, the Mozilla fake, the fake score. But this book here came up with an A. So all the object, all the people are genuine. Also on the Packet Publishing website, this Ian Neal's video course has just been released and it's available through Packet Publishing. So thank you very much for reading this article. On the same of October, I'm going to start a YouTube session every Sunday for an hour to help people prepare for the exam. So best of luck to you. Thank you for watching the video and goodbye.